If you think I'm not gonna try and yeet this thing across the map, you are out your mind. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 17 mods. We have all platforms, 6 new and 5 updates. At PC and Mac we have 5 new and 1 update. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the in-game mod hub, which is usually Monday through Friday. So get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss them. Starting off today with some new mods for all platforms and we've got a new map. East Vineland, New Jersey, United States is here. This is from MacJucker921. They say the map was created from an area of their hometown, and the map area was created of actual satellite photos. We've got that. Vinlin is in the southern area of New Jersey and is a very rural farm town. Most of the area in the city is farmland and forestry. This has basically everything you would expect. There's 118 different fields uh, and also missions on every single field. It also has a different feature as well, something I've never seen before. So we've got grass and grass. So the grass here is the grass in the fields. And this is grass that's not in the fields. That makes so much sense. Why have we not done that the whole time? Anyway, uh, you've got plenty of things that you could buy on here. We've also got a lot of uh, husbandry as well for animals. So 250 cows, 350 pigs, 500 sheep, and 500 chickens. All animal nav mesh areas have been redone, and the pastures are custom made. Very cool. They've also added cornmeal and cracked corn as animal products, which could be produced at the grain mill from corn. Corn milk can be sold at the pizzeria, farmer's market, diner, and the supermarket. Cracked corn pallets can be purchased at the store for chicken feed and produced from the green mill. How neat is that? All right, so let's check out the PDA. What do we get? Do we have an outside area of the map? We do. It is $0 as it should be. And we start with these little guys down here, field eight and field number nine. We also have our main farm right here as well. So that is nice to see. If we kind of pop up and take a look. Well, very basic, very simple, but it allows you to create your own farm if that's something you're interested in. You can sell all this stuff and do what you want. We've also got our uh, other things spread out around. It's a very cool map. It's nice, it's flat, big square fields. You can plow a lot of these together and make some even more larger fields. If you guys have been looking for something like this, well, this. This is here. If you guys are on consoles, this is going to take up 1,043 slots. So it's not that bad. And you could probably take that way down just by getting rid of vehicles. Speaking of, what do we get? Well, you got one tractor, the Case Magnum 340. So at least we start with something like that. We've got a smaller cultivator. We've got a cedar, my favorite cedar in the game. You've also got the Amazon fertilizer spreader and a baler. <laughs> so what are you going to do with that? Well, you guys will have to let me know. We don't have any leased vehicles either, so you'll need your own combine harvester. You'll need your own mowers, things like that. Hey, check it out. East Vineland, New Jersey. Next up, we've got another map, the beautiful Wilhelmina 22. Things are different here now. You'll find a paved road from bridge to bridge. There's no fuel cell point, BGA modified to make fuel for you. How cool is that? One cell point that takes everything, a working sawmill that is two and a half times faster production than normal. We have a dealership, animal dealer, stone quarry, and more. Where is everything? There's a major difference um, that this farm now has cows, chicken silo, trailer house, two buildings, one field, and startup equipment. Have you seen it yet? I, I'm lost in the trees, man. How about we take a look at the PDA? Let's take a look at that. It looks like everything's going to be found right over here on the right hand side. So we'll kind of pop up a little bit. So we do have a field. We've got our main farm area, I guess, through here as well. Let's see if we can go up just a little bit more and get a vertical look, maybe around. Yeah, <laughs> we got some more stuff over here as well. Uh, this is a very packed and tight logging map. Uh, this will probably appeal to many, many people, especially if you're trying to do logging. And one of the greatest things about logging maps is you can make your own farm after you're all said and done. You can take these, you can fl you know, flatten out these hills, do whatever you want. It's a really, really cool thing that you can do with these farms and fields and, well, lack thereof. How about we take a look at the PDA itself overall? Well, we got some big old chunks and they are expensive in the bajillions. Well, not quite. They're in the millions. You can even buy the, uh, yeah, the water if you want to. You don't need to. It's uh, $315,000. Uh, and we also have all the cell point areas, so that's nice. And we have our main farm, which has the whole area around here as well, actually. 
Is all of that connected? I think. Yep, that's all connected right through there. So you will need to hang on to this completely. If you guys are on consoles, it's going to take up 677 slots total. So do be aware of that. Wilhelmina 22 map also has some, uh, well, some custom stuff here as well. So we have the rottenness stuff, which is completely customized. As you can see here, we've got same wheel options that we would have normally, but we've now got modified colors for the main and your rim colors. That is super cool. Same thing here. I don't even want to change it. This looks absolutely epic. That is so cool. And we've also got some little trailers right here. Now, they have upgraded these. The MKS-8 now holds 25,000 liters, and the MKS-32 holds 50,000 liters. They still hold all of your in-game uh, liquids, so that is nice. From the SMI modding team, we have their Fiat X70 series. It is here. Now, this was a mod I believe we had in Farming Simulator 19 as well, but it's back and better than ever. So, right here, we've got 57 horsepower, very low at least start with, uh, manual transmission, 80 liters fuel, 20 miles per hour, 3.7 tons, and it is going to be a total of 11 slots if you guys are on console. We do have a bunch of customization options. However, if you want a two-wheel drive version, we have that as well. This is also 11 slots and has the exact same feature. So today, we're just going to show off the four-wheel drive configuration. We have standard. We have 130 kilogram front weight, 210, 290, 370, 450, 530, and back in again. As far as wheel brands go, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Continental, BKT, and back in there again. We do have some very interesting wheels. Gotta love that. Love seeing some neat stuff designed. We had a long pipe on there and a short. We also have an open 45 and open 90 degrees. Cabin layout is standard. We also have arch protection. We have a canopy. We have canopy with the arch protection and back end, so no enclosed cabin. Attachers include the original and more modern style attachments. We also have an engine of 57 horsepower, 67 or 100 horsepower. And those are going to be the same throughout both. For Farm Citrus Soul, we have their Husqvarna Enduro Pack. And it is a pack. Yes, we got two more dirt bikes available for all platforms. They're both nine slots on console, so that's nice. So we'll start with the TE series. 51 horsepower, manual with six gear. You also have seven liters of fuel, 62 miles per hour. Exhaust, we've got a couple different options there through you guys. A hand protection, you can throw that on there headlights now we start with none but you can put one on there engine we can go from 51 to 54 horsepower that is nice to see hub covers so you can change those right in the middle main color we'll just change this to a dark red and then we have a secondary color as well we'll go bright green on there and then we even have more colors let's go pink here so the handlebars and then the seat color what do you guys think blue i think blue would be a good color and lastly rim colors <laughs> chrome because why not and then if we come over here to the fe series a little bit less going on five gears instead of six 46 horsepower instead of 51 and then we have the exact same designs through most everything of course headlights your engine goes 46 to 63 so you do have a little bit more horsepower on this one overall hub covers main colors secondary colors you've got your colors of the handlebars the seat and the rims all is good how cool is this man next up we got something really cool the class 250 roto cut yes we have a class round baler now one thing this will only do 125 centimeter bells it won't do 150s or 180s so with this one we got 90 horsepower nine mile per hour max speed not too bad and we could change up the rim color between a uh, kind of a metallic gray, I guess. Yeah, that's right. And Kloss Red. This is six slots if you guys are playing on console. And, well, at the end of the day, it's just a normal round baler. And your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the Laylee AP730. That's right. Baby baler alert, my dudes. This will make their standard in-game 120 centimeter bells, 51 horsepower required, 7 miles per hour, and we've got a lot of customization. So, uh, Michelin, Trelleborg, back and forth between those. Uh, we can change up the Trelleborg, but not the Michelin, to, or the uh, Michelin, but not Trelleborg. You know, let's move on. Attacher type, we've got standard. We've also got with a, to a toolbar? Toolbar? Tow bar? I see nothing changing. Main color, well, you've got all, all main color. So if you want a John Deere baby baler, let's just go with that today. There's the main color, design color, we'll go with black, and their rim color, eh, 
almost John Deere. And, <laughs> and then we got something similar here as well. Now this one is quite interesting. So we have a trailer hitch on the back of this and this will kind of pop up. So if you got a trailer pulling behind this, it just bloop, pop them in through there. Now it doesn't say anything about what this will work with, but uh, there's quite a few baby bailer auto loaders out there that I think would work perfect with this. As far as mod updates for all platforms go today, we got five of them. First is the Case IH Axle Flow 250 series from Custom Modding version 1001. Drawbar trailer bug has been fixed and you got minor fixes all around here as well. I know a lot of people were having trouble pulling the headers behind these. Well, that has been fixed. Next up, we've got an update to the Massey Ferguson 76, 77, 87 series from KRKZ Modding version 1.2. They've added the wheel offset configuration for the Massey 8700. The wheel options and rims have been adjusted for the 8700. Original wheel weights have been installed for the 8700. Front suspension has been stiffened on the 76 and 77. And they've added the Asaria Pro, which requires precision farming DLC on the Massey 70, or 76, 77. A lot of numbers. Next up, we have the Lizard NEXT Next version 101. They fixed and optimizations. One of the more cool and game changing mods, I think, for consoles, productions, and loading gate. This has got an update today, version 11. Carpenter has been added from the United States, and the Lizard MKS 32 SL has been added. And lastly, we have an update to the Green Mill Plus version 1001. They've changed the particle effects to be more realistic for cracked corn and all of the grain can now be removed from the grain silo if you choose to, if you need it for animal feed, or there's a higher price to sell it directly. All right, making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. We got four of them. First is the Leveler Blade from Agri Design Modding. They say the seared blade will allow you to push and level your silage in your silos. Weighs three quarters of a ton, 2.8 meter working width, and hooks up via three point. There is no customization for this. Next new one for PC and Mac players is the new moon mod from Mantrid. They say tired of lunatics howling at the always full moon. Well, is your moon tan getting too much? Well, perhaps you just need some nice night to sulk about in it. Uh, I'm sure me reading that was a little bit cringe, but they've got a great thing there. You could probably read it with your own eyeballs. No more moon is visible. Adjust the night sky brightness. A keys can be reassigned in the in-game menu. This is pretty sweet. We also have manual refueling from Vertex Flow. They say thanks to this mod, you can refuel your machine only when you are outside and near to it. It also removed the original bug where refill action is still showing even when your source tank is empty or the machine or vehicle you're filling is fully loaded. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the fill level limiter from GTX. This global vehicle specialization is added to most fillable vehicles such as trailers, trains, and seeders. It is used to then free the set to the maximum fill that they wish the trailer to stop filling at. Very useful if you want to collect a set amount from a silo or a buy point. Limits are safe for each vehicle and can be reset whenever you want required in the GUI. And important, the mod is designed or the mod by design will not allow the max capacity to be increased above the default level. So you're not getting any more than you would have normally. Of course, right as I was finished with the video, they've also released the Komatsu 951 for PC and Mac players today new as well. This is 291 horsepower, 405 liters of fuel, 12 miles an hour, and it weighs 22.6 tons. As far as our wheels on here, of course, we have Trelleborg. We have um, Power... Nope, not going to try and say that. Clark Tracks. We also have all the Fosters on here as well. You can change those up, all of these. Kind of however you like. I do like the look of those. Those look sweet. We also have protection. So with that and without. So let's see where that is. Okay, so basically they've added three different engine protections. And then we have the five button mini. I believe this is going to be your different control groups. We also have transportation. Whoa. <laughs> hey -o. Oh, look at a little far back there, ain't you, bud? Uh, that's neat because you've got transportation, basically working and then transport mode. Never seen that before. That's pretty cool. And then we could change up the protection grid color in the back. That's awesome. And your one mod update for PC and Mac players today is the Universal Auto Load from Loki 79. It's going to be version 1. 
Well, it says 1-1. One, one. Yep, 1-1. One, one. At a different stacking heights for Bills and Pallets. Pallets stacks to different heights based on the mass to improve the weight distribution. They improve the manual loading and unloading with a forklift. Manual side loading added to the Corona and low loader trailers. And they've added the box trailer vehicle type. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham fam. Make sure notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. That's it. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.